Britt with North Beach Windsurfing. Hey, today we're going to go over the Aerotech Motion Rig. This is a beginning and intermediate um, rig that's that's priced well to go with the board, and we have them available in the packages uh, with like the Windsurfer LT School Edition, the Starboard Rio, the Fanatic Viper, uh, because this is a very good beginning to intermediate sale. And it's available in the 5.5 and 6.5 sizes. The Aerotech Motion Rig comes in this nice bag, so all the parts and pieces stay together. In, inside the bag, we have the boom, the sail, the mast, the mast extension, and mast foot. And so we're just going to open this up, and we're going to go over how to rig it. Here's the mast. When you're assembling it, you want to make sure that the sand stays out of the out of where it connects. So here we want just want to, to you know make sure there's no sand in here. So when the sail and the or when the mast goes together, it doesn't it doesn't become a the two piece mast doesn't become a one piece. And then we're gonna un unroll the sail. This is this is the uh, the orange and blue color. And we want to unroll the sail downwind. This way, it's much easier to rig. This sail is pretty short from top to bottom, so it's easier for a beginner to uh, to handle. So from here, this is a 400 RDM mast, and the RDM stands for reduced diameter mast. And we're just gonna. Since the mast is uh, 400 centimeters long, the, the sail is 425 centimeters long, so we want to put this at 25. All right, to put the mast extension in, it's pretty simple. You just put it in the bottom of the, of the mast. Then we come down here, and just feed the downhaul through, through the grommet. through the bottom of the sail, and we'll just go through here twice. And there's a cleat at, down at the bottom here. That holds the, that holds the downhaul. And then from here, we're just gonna put the boom on. The boom goes to 185, so you just Pop it with both thumbs, and you put this at 15. Because 70 plus 15 is 185. To put the boom on, we open up the clamp here. Tighten the in hole some. To where it has a nice little. So it's not it's not going to be loose and slide down the boom. The up hole just slides down the comes down the inside of the boom here. You don't want it to come down the outside to where it would grab the 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 clamp and open it up comes down here and comes on the comes on the mast foot. Then we come back down here to the uh, to the out hole. And this is on a loop and go system. This is pretty slick. This just comes through here. Comes through the back side and then you can tighten the tighten up the out haul where it fits into the cleat and then we just do a couple of wraps on the out haul to secure it now it won't come loose
Oh, I forgot on the downhaul, we just want to have it come through here and then just do a couple of wraps around here. So you won't step on your downhaul and cause it to, cause it to pop loose. So with the battens, this is a kind of a lower tension sail. We're gonna go go ahead and cover the for lighter winds. For lighter winds, you want it to where the battens are coming are hanging down like so. And this third batten from the top is just just uh, you can see it's at the bottom here, or the the front of the batten is just coming towards the front of the mast. And you can see at the top to where there's more of a, there'll be more of a pocket here for light winds. You'll be able to grab more. And then when it gets windy, we can downhaul the sail more. Okay, this is the batten tension key. So what this does, there's a little Velcro. We can pull this out. And where this goes is, this just ta tightens up the battens. In case you guys were wondering. And you can do that with all the, you can see the vertical wrinkles down here. And when I tighten it up, these wrinkles that were here have gone away. And the top battens, we just want to tighten them up just a little bit. We don't want to really crank on them. But the bottom ones, you can, you can tighten up a fair amount. And once, once you adjust, once you tighten them, pretty much you don't need to tighten them again. Again, this sail is more of a beginning and intermediate sail. It's a four batten sail, so it's gonna be nice and light. And this is a, the Aerotech Motion Rig. This is the 5.5, five, and it works very good for, for beginning and intermediate sailors. If you have any questions, please let us know. You can call, you can text, you can uh, post a question on YouTube, or we also have a Facebook uh, page North Beach uh, windsurfing. Thank you very much and hope you have fun on the water.